Okay, remember what I told you. Be your own boss. Love yourself. Get up and dance. Level up. 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 Five, four, three, two, one. Level up. 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 All this on me so yummy. All this sauce so yummy. No, you want this yummy. Yummy all in your tummy. Hello guys, my name is Lucy Marike and welcome to my channel. I hope to awaken your consciousness. Now listen guys, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for the debates we've had online, offline. Thank you for the love that you have given. Thank you for the topics that you have you know, suggested. I really appreciate it. And I am having fun in this journey of self-discovery. So guys, today, today we are going to speak about a topic called possessing your throne in the boardroom. When I say the boardroom, I don't mean just the corporate. I'm talking about any side hustle. I'm talking about any kind of job that your source of income is related to. It is important to kind of have certain principles, um, practice certain etiquette in your workplace. I often wonder, you know, I come across a lot of people that say, oh, um, you know, I um, have a degree and I'm well spoken and I'm not getting that C job. CEO, COO, head, manager, whatever. And here's a video that I hope will touch somebody and actually uh, transform somebody's mind. Now, I also speak to students in varsity because I know that certain uh, uh, times, you know, there's a level of uh, being casual. I hope to reach uh, a couple of people, including my son who's in varsity. I hope to touch um, a couple of people that will actually grab these principles and run with it as they enter the corporates or as they enter, enter the world of reality in terms of income making right okay so i have a couple of points and yes i'll be looking at my notes so number one i have here if you want to excel or if you want to level up from mediocrity to excellence in the boardroom and you often wonder how that woman made it how that man made it into the boardroom into that class of of people that are you know decision makers and people that work, walk around with certain kind of presence. Um, I hope you enjoy this uh, video. So number one, I say, treat the company as your own. Treat whatever you are given to do as your own. So what happens is if you don't treat it like your own company, you find yourself misusing their resources. You find yourself doing crazy things like not adhering to certain things like uh, walking in there at 11 o'clock and leaving at 2, it's not ethical, it's not cool. Uh, you do things like misuse their resources, their emails for personal use. I'm not saying I am perfect, guys. All I'm saying is all these videos, all the content that I'm sharing with you today is where I was at. So I have obviously elevated through these kind of principles and have learned and would like to impart the same to you guys. So queens do not misuse company resources. Queens run their jobs as though it were their own business. It gives you accountability, it gives you a certain demeanor of maturity, it gives you, um, above all, people are watching. So not only people, God is watching. He has trusted you with little. How do you think you're gonna own a company and be a CEO of your company if you misuse other people's resources? Young top. So, number one, treat your workplace as your own. That way you will not misuse their resources. Number two, create authentic relationships. Now, in this era we live in, it is all about relationships. 80% is your skill is relationships, 20% is your skills and experience. A lovely man that is my mentor currently where I work taught me this. He said, never ever, Lucy, go by your qualifications. Always stay authentic and pure and stay in your truth. Build relationships authentically. You'll be surprised. Those relationships you build need to be so authentic that whenever you need something, you know who to go to and it's a genuine, you know, kind of trade of situation. I'm not saying build, you know, airy fairy relationships, meaningless relationships. I'm saying find people when you go back to work that you can connect with. Trust me, it helps. 
you will always need somebody. You cannot do things on your own. And best be found having had a relationship with somebody you need in the future. They say don't burn your bridges. That talks about relationships. Always maintain a clean, authentic relationship. It does help. It definitely does help. Number three, I am talking about a topic that is dear to my heart. Dress for your next position. Never as a corporate queen king dress for your current position always dress to the nights dress as though you are walking into your own empire never be and it baffles me i have seen people guys that come into work in flops or in 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 in, in uh, pumps and you expect to be treated um with dignity you expect to be heard no one is going to hear you if you are in pumps and are dressed all as though you're going to the spaza to buy shops. No. If you put on a weave, put it on. I'm not saying you can flip and put in synthetic hair. You know, it doesn't have to be Brazilian or Peruvian or whatever. It has to be kept. Um, wipe up your... Gosh, sorry. I'm not going to edit this part. I'm saying, you know, just look kept. Dress as though you are going to fill your, your, your future possession. This is how the, the universe works. If you dress flop, you know, in flops and in pumps, and where do you think you're going? I don't care what title you have. You are staying right there, sister. You are staying right there. So you need to level up, dress up, show up, and own your space. Um, and, and, and I mean, the way you dress you know, gives you that confidence. So we really ought to level up a bit. I'm not saying wear stilettos. Not all of us are cut out for stilettos. But, you know, just carry yourself in a way that a queen should. When you enter a room, let it be felt that queen so-and-so has arrived. When you open your mouth, guys, truth is people judge us. Before you speak, I don't care how many degree, degrees and doctorates you have. If you show up and not show up appropriately, they will judge you based on that. By the time you open your mouth, it's too late. So guys, first impressions last. Dress, level up, okay? Uh, the last one is always be prepared to learn. I, I am in awe. In the corporate, whatever you do, whether you clean, whether you, you uh, wait on people, whether you're a call center agent, whether you have side hustles, always be prepared to learn. Every single one of us should have a roadmap of their knowledge aspirations. We want to learn. Like, I am always wanting to learn. And I don't mind looking stupid. I will ask those stupid questions. What? And actually, there is no stupid questions. But the minute you say you know it all, you, you, you just cap your, your knowledge tank. You just cap it. And it's the most saddest situation. Always be prepared to ask. If you identify somebody that knows something, do not be afraid to find out what, how, and, you know, where. So always remember that you don't know it all. You cannot say you have arrived. Impossible. So, queens, I would like to urge you today, own your space, occupy your throne, level up, and just remember that people are going to treat you the way you treat yourself. Some call it fake it till you make it. I say do it. Dress up for the occasion every day. Show up and be relevant. Do not be optional. Do not let people make you optional. You yourself have has the power to be non-negotiable. Let there be no uh, options available for you to, to, to be perceived as a nobody. It's in your hands. Do it, queens. Do it, kings. And having said that, thank you once again for tuning in. Please subscribe. Own your space in the boardroom. Own it. Own it. Occupy your throne. I love you so much and thank you for watching. Please remember to hit the notification bell. I will surely be in your faces with more material. Thank you and I love you guys. Namaste.